Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you iRobot Roomba Editor C510. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. So let's get started. So, the Editor C510 usually means there's a problem with the vacuum bin. So either the Roomba isn't detecting it properly, or there's some debris blocking the sensor or connection. Luckily, there's something that you could do here or you could do to fix this issue. So first things first is you want to remove the vacuum bin. So start by powering off your Roomba if needed, then detach the vacuum bin from the back. And in this case, this actually is quite essential. It actually allows you to inspect the inspect and reset the connections inside. Now, from then on, you want to check for debris or damage. So look inside the Roomba and around the bin for any dust or debris build up near the sensor area or connection ports. Now, also you may want to look for or look out for bent pins, dents, or loose parts inside the bin itself. And even a small dust there can block the sense uh, connection, so be thorough with doing this. Now next is you want to clean the bin and the sensor area. So using a soft, dry cloth like a microprimer, you want to gently clean it. Now a metal con the metal contacts here in both the bin and the robot, you should clean that as well. And also the sensor windows or openings where the room bunny, uh, reads the bin attachment. Also avoid using any liquid, especially around the electronic contacts. Now from then on, just reinstall the bin. Now carefully slide the bin back into place until you feel the, uh, feel or hear a click. And make sure it's firmly, uh, firmly evenly inserted and it doesn't wiggle or feel loose when gently shaken. Now a proper fit ensures the robot can detect the bin and function normally. Now from then on, just press the clean or power button on your Roomba to restart the system. Now if, or if, actually, if it actually went well here, you should see green light and hear the Roomba say ready to clean. That means the error has been cleared and your vacuum is good to go. So in this case, that's about it. Now if none of this actually works for you, there might be some deeper problems or hardware problem with your iRobot Roomba here. So consult support and see what are your options. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.